Hi everyone, I'm Allison Howard and we are back with another edition of the Wedding Wednesday Report brought to you by moi and the Wedding and Event Institute. This month we're diving into the exciting topic of pricing. Are you excited? I'm excited because this is important information if you want to get paid appropriately and I'm pretty sure we all want that. So far this month we've covered two methods of pricing, the flat fee method and the percentage of the budget method. Today we're going to look at charging hourly. As a wedding planner, you will not charge hourly to plan someone's wedding. If you do, good luck. I have no advice for you. I'm kidding. I just have never used that method when it comes to planning a wedding because honestly, it seems like a lot of work and I'm just not interested in adding more work to my life. Basically, if you choose to charge hourly, don't be crazy then essentially you have a set hourly rate and you bill your clients based on the hours you work. Doesn't that seem like a lot of work to you? A lot of work, a lot of extra work, don't do it. Here is my advice to you, and they call me an expert, so listen up. Only charge hourly for overtime and consultations. For example, let's say you only provide eight hours of coordination on the wedding day, but your clients would like you to be there for 12 hours of coverage on their wedding day you charge them by the hour for the four additional hours of your time. Here's another example. Let's say that a couple contacts you because they are planning their wedding themselves, but they really see the value in consulting with a professional to help them create a plan before they start the process. You would charge them hourly. In all honesty, those are the only two circumstances in which my clients are charged hourly. And that is the beauty of being an entrepreneur and owning your own business. You are able to determine what you're comfortable with. You can always try a pricing method for a quarter, and if it doesn't work well, you can try something else. If you're an established wedding planner watching this today, I'd really love for you to share with the Wedding Wednesday Report community which method you prefer and why I think that the students would really find value in that. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Wedding Wednesday Report. We would love to hear your feedback on today's topic, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss us each week. You can stay up to date with news, tips, and inspiration from the world of weddings and events every day by dropping by the Special Event Experts blog. And for some great behind the scenes action from our shoots, visit me on Instagram. Join me next week where we'll explore the pricing method of creating packages, which is the most popular way most professionals set their pricing. I'll see you all then.